Hey everyone, today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me chit chat Spanglish version basically and yeah, I, I don't know, I just thought it will be fun to chat with you guys while I get ready to go to this bar Zach so is gonna be playing with his band Baby Hands or Sassafras, I'm not sure, I feel really bad for not knowing that but anyways, um, I'm just gonna start with my makeup basically I'm gonna start by applying my primer, this is the Baby Skin Maybelline Razor and I really like this thing. I already talk about it. I think in my videos y no sé, me gusta como es que ya mencioné que hace que mis poros se vean más pequeños y que oh, el maquillaje líquido que voy a poner se vea mucho mejor, así que hmm, no sé cómo se siente. Today I'm going to be mixing these two foundations, Steel Lauder Double Wear in and Max Studio Fix Fluid and yeah, we'll see how this goes. Mezclando estos dos maquillajes líquidos, creo que sí me gusta cómo es que se me ve el tono de la piel. Y voy a usar esta brocha, es el Face Buffer Brush from Makeup Geek. And I'm just basically, I don't know, buffing it in. Um, yeah. Um, yes. I like the shade when I mix those two. So. And I, I don't know, it's so weird because I'm used to being tan and now that is winter here it's like okay all my foundations look really i don't know dark for me for my complexion right now and i have to mix them because my steel sti water i don't know how to pronounce it is un poco más clara que las otras así que um me gusta como se ve mitad de la cara hecha ahora la otra Ok, me acabo de hacer mis cejas fuera de la cámara porque si no tardaría la vida. Pero ahora voy a usar este concealer en NW, NW25 to conceal my eyelids. So that's what I do. So it lasts a lot longer and yeah. I'm gonna be using the Miami palette today because as I mentioned in my favorites video, uh, I love warm colors for my crease and this has uh, my favorite colors for life for like the warm shades so voy a usar los colores caramel primero y lo voy a poner con esta brocha es de MAC, es la 217 y vamos a empezar a difuminar y a crear un poco más de profundidad en lo que es el párpado I just wanted to do this kind of video because I really, I don't know, like chatting with you guys what have you guys been up to? Um, today is Saturday, the 8th uh, of January and I don't know, my weekend has been good. I have been enjoying it. And today I'm going to a bar as I mentioned and we're going to see Sasa Frost play. Siempre me emociona acerca del fin de semana porque es como que durante la semana no veo a tanta gente porque todo el mundo trabaja o hacen cosas, ya saben, todo el mundo está ocupado durante la semana. Así que durante el fin es como el tiempo donde puedo ver a mis amigos acá, así que me emociona verlos. Hoy voy a ver a Cory. Hi Cory, if you're watching, I'm gonna be with you in a little bit later. And I'm excited. I like watching bands play. This is basically like my go-to look when I go out at night over here. But yeah, sometimes I do different stuff. But Anyways, I'm gonna be applying this color from this Inkblot palette and I'm gonna put the shadow number in the description box if you guys are interested. Este color es como que mi favorito de esta paleta. Yo la armé, fue mi primera paleta. Así que tiene un lugar muy, muy grande en mi corazón. <laughs> Digamos que me encantan estos colores. Algún día voy a seguir comprando Inkblot. Son un poco caras, pero... Creo que valen mucho la pena. Esta tiene creo que ya dos años que la tengo. Así que voy a poner este color en lo que es todo mi párpado móvil. Okay, voy a empezar a intensificar un poco más el pliegue de, de mi ojo. No sé, cuando salgo de noche me gusta como que un look ahumado. Y que se vea así como que... No sé si tiene sentido, pero en fin. Eh, I was saying that I like a blown out look. Uh, when I go out at night, I really like a smoky eye. I don't go for like blacks, but browns and oranges. I really like it. 
Ahora me voy a delinear los ojos con mi delineador de ELF. Es un delineador en crema o gel. And I don't know what am I gonna do today, guys. Like just a simple liner or a cat eye. What should I do? I don't know. Most of the time I go for a cat eye just because I love it. But we'll see, we'll see. Eyeliner listo, ahora voy a empezar a difuminar en la parte de abajo de mis pestañas como siempre lo hago Creo que voy a usar el color expreso y el color negro para delinear mis ojos And if you guys have any recommendations for a black pencil eyeliner for my waterline I would really appreciate it because I have been using eyeshadow for the longest time now I, I don't own any black pencil eyeliner I don't know Anyways, oh, I just got a Snapchat of one of my best friends in Mexico. She's at the BPM in Playa del Carmen. Y me muero por estar en Playa del Carmen, en serio. Que nunca he ido al BPM, pero ella ha estado ahí. Creo que esta es la segunda vez. Y si estás viendo esto, Lian, hola, te extraño. Y oh, um, I'm like so jealous. She's by the beach listening to these DJs and stuff. And I'm like... Hey, hello Narnia, and <laughs> I love Snapchat. If you guys have Snapchat, let me know in the comments down below because I would like to Snapchat you, you know. I think it's really fun to just take pictures or videos and share them with you guys. Now I'm gonna smudge this out, smudge. <sighs> As you guys notice or know by now, my English is still not 100% perfect and my accent is really thick. And sometimes Sag and I will be practicing getting rid of my accent. He will be like, can you say this without your accent? And I try and it's like watching um, Modern Family. Have you guys know, you know, Sofia Vergara. She speaks so funny and every time I see her, it's like, I, I can just relate so much. I think that's how I sound. <laughs> Ahora lo que hago es tomar el color Siena con esta otra brocha. Es una de mis favoritas. Este es de Coastal Scents. Y voy a empezar a difuminar la parte de abajo. Ya vieron que puse el negro. Ahora solamente voy a difuminar la parte de abajo aquí para que se vea como un degradado de negro a rojo. No rojo, pero ya saben, este color de Siena. I love this. Uh, how this looks at the end. Anyways, I was saying, yeah, I think I, every time I see Sofia Vergara in Modern Family, I just see myself, like, the way she speaks. And it's just funny to me when I watch her. But, yeah, I have been practicing a lot my English. And there's still sometimes um, days where I'm like, I feel like it doesn't, I, I don't understand anything. I'm like, huh? Today my English doesn't work and I start speaking Spanish a lot and Zach will be like, ¿Qué? ¿Qué? What? <laughs> what are you saying? And yeah, I don't know. Tell me you guys like this kind of videos. I think it's really fun to be, you know, chatting with you guys. But anyways, this is the how it looks when it's all blended. But yeah. Voy a contornear mi cara con estas sombras de Anastasia. Voy a usar estas dos de acá. Esta es como que un un poco más cálida que la otra como pueden ver y este es el Makeup Geek Angle Contour Brush and I have been using it for this past week I like it to use establish where I'm gonna have my contour and then I'm blending this out with the brush that came with my Hula Bronzer Ugh, what's that? Hoy voy a usar este blush de uh, Milani, se llama Luminoso y es como que mi tono favorito, en serio que este, este blush es uno de mis go-to blushes, so I'm just gonna apply this all over my cheekbones. For my mascara, I'm gonna be using this too, let's see how it looks, this is the Makeup Forever mascara, it's a sample that I got for my birthday actually. Por último voy a aplicar este delineador para labios. Este es de Jordana y se llama Rock and Rose. And I have been using this a lot. I don't know, I really like how it looks. It looks natural, you know. So 
I told you guys in my favorite video that I'm not a really lipstick person like I could just go out do this and be like I'm ready can you believe it so yeah I don't know this year I really want to get into lipsticks <laughs> I know I I'm gonna try in real life it's just like sometimes I'm drinking or eating something and I'm I don't know I'm just really self-conscious about them like I feel like it's gonna get everywhere so that's why I don't wear a lot of lipstick in real life este es el Rimmel 08 también lo mencioné en mis favoritos y ugh, me encanta so I think that's it so yeah this is the final look I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys pretty soon bye